we see Yas Queen picked again. And, so, I mean, I got a hand to him. He's picked the right drone, at least. And it's pink. So. One thing, right, is that with Cassie Cage versus Garrus in this matchup, can she not do reversal, uh, nut, like, nut kick? Yes, uh, so... The second hit in the string? Yes, so that move actually low profiles, and it's 10 frames startup. So... But and, uh, and that's you have to you hit it at a certain range. range. Yeah, you have to you have to hit it at a certain range though. You can't just hit it straight up. It doesn't work in all circumstances. Like Jackie has the same thing where she can first on back dash, but you have to hit like the first hit has to be kind of like a low hit. Right. Okay. Yeah. I see. So you don't have to Ooh. quite be stuck on but you have to hit it at a certain range. Okay, and it's interesting because watching boys gameplay with his Garrus um, all day today with his top eight. He doesn't so much commit the 50 50 s if he goes. Yeah, he doesn't really. He more so just uses the strike throw kind of mix up with forward two or throw. And mm. that's all he really commits to. We saw it just then. He uses what one more so as a stagger pressure tool, more so than the mix up that follows. And what we need to see Fuji doing is he can actually reverse or shoulder charge on those low sand traps from most from the closer ranges. That's true, and he got locked there. He did a, a, a shoulder charge. It was blocked, but no punish. But still, boy managing to seal out that first round. Hmm. Round two, fight. Oh, see, no punish. I just think I don't think people are accustomed to fighting this variation. They don't know the block's done. They don't know exactly when it's their turn to press buttons. And so, even though they know, yep, that's negative. It's my turn to punish. Them. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a big thing. And I think that's one really beneficial thing of a player like Kuki playing this variation is that tournament kind of exposure that now the rest of our Australian top level players will get versus mm. this variation. Exactly. No. Ooh, this is a reversal. Yeah, that could have been a punish opportunity. Nice, keeping the restand, getting the plus frames off the shoulder on hit. Okay, here we see that very Vortex coming back once again. What's the wake-up opportunity? Count points the Sand Trap. Such, such, oh. such a great trap. You saw it didn't even counter hit there. It just probably yeah. caught Kuki probably walking forward or jumping. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I don't know what down two that up to. It was a down two. So where did you read that? Yeah, but like, why, right? Like, why exactly. was it a down two there? Why was it just a normal? Like, I don't know. That was... Yeah. That was the stuff right there. Either that or an input error. Um, nah, look. I gave my boy uh, Googie some credit before with the wedding OS. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take away, you know, anything from it. I reckon that was a woke down to. 100% necessary in there. Yeah, exactly right. Definitely not a, a, a back two that went that went horribly wrong. Oh, damn, 326 damage, all right. This Cassie okay. has corner damage. This Cassie has corner damage. Which makes the corner game so much more threatening because she has that frame trap of forward four into a restand, so no wake up. You have to guess. Strike, throw, into stagger pressure. Her corner game in this variation is very threatening. Yeah, it's super, super strong in this variation, right? Mm. But damn. Alright, so Googie taking that first game over Boy. Boy looks pretty convincing that first round, but then the next two rounds following. Just seemed like Ugi kind of got his rhythm together, um, made some correct decisions back to back, like back to back, um, mm. and just managed to steal out two rounds. So we'll be interested to see how Boy approaches game number two. It didn't seem like he was making too many incorrect decisions. No. There was just a few yes. drops here and there on punishes, especially against the shoulder, where he blocked it a couple of times but didn't get much for it. Yeah, especially I think I think he I think a couple of adjustments he needs to make. Firstly, he needs to make sure he's punishing the shots. He can't let Googie get in whenever he wants. So he needs to make sure that if he's doing that on block, he's eating the damage for that. Secondly, he needs to make sure that he's abusing the fact that Cassie, in this variation, the only like long range tool that she has is her straight gunshots, which is slow. I think so many people are used to playing the other Jack uh, the other Cassie so much that they they're just not used to like being able to Hit space and zone passive in general. Yeah, well, for Garrus more so, I guess, in this matchup, this specific matchup, is that he can't really zone because if you get to that screen range, you can't track that sand trap anymore because that shoulder's gonna punish every time. True, Although, true. We see Boy committing to him. 
Ooh, oh. loops. Yeah, and here comes that Vortex. So difficult to deal with. Okay, just a back roll, getting out of there. Smart stuff from Doogie. Ooh, we'll try to get here at Yeah, no neutral duck on yeah. that uh, shadow kick. But I don't think he's ready for it. But he's already used to crushing blow, so it's not massive well, threat. I was gonna say, it's in that set earlier with Boy versus Soul Snake. Uh, he got hit, remember? With that 50-50 uh, or that little 50-50. Mm. Um, Soul Snake did back to the four, and then he did the sky drop as opposed to the shadow kick. And Boy got hit for it, so maybe he's just not too confident with that neutral duck timing. So he just didn't want to really go for it. Is the timing before or after? The, do you duck first or do you block first? I think it's block first. I can't remember. I remember talking to the about it a little while ago. Mm. Ooh, nice down two. And into the throw loops again. Whoa, see, and there that's, we that's see there, it. we see. That's the reversal tech you were talking about. Being yeah. able to being able to use her nut punch to get underneath his forward too. And maybe Doogie just remembered it. I think if there was ever a time for Boy in this top 8 to pick his jacks, I think now will be that time. If he loses this round and goes down 2-0 to Doogie, I think this is when you go to your jacks. Because yeah. just seeing that presence of mind from Doogie and knowing that he has that reversal tech on deck, it's just... Even though it's not that major, like, a major problem in the matchup, and yes, it's only happened one in, once in five rounds now of gameplay, just the fact that Googie's confident enough to whip it out in this short set so far, I, it would be enough for me to question playing Garrus further in this set. Particularly when I know that I have a very strong Jax in the back. Yeah, and Jax definitely, you know, does very, very well in this matchup. There's nothing that really... Um, prevents him from playing this game too much. Cassie Cage. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't see. Yeah, I can't see Jax struggling particularly in this matchup, especially against Yes Queen. Like maybe, maybe against the other one, he can kind of space her out. But Jax. Not... Here hey. we go. I called it. I'm Jax is credit. back. <laughs> Whoa! Those... Flick the cigar. Damn, that's rude. Come on, that Jax. Is rude. That's but those arms though. That's your friend's Rude. daughter. <laughs> he doesn't like Johnny at all. I wasn't talking about Johnny. I know, I was just Round being facetious. Fight. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, so yeah, this will be interesting. So this is the first time that Boys Whipped out Jack's whole tournament. A very, very impressive playstyle that uh, the boy has with this character. He's got max heat. <laughs> Doogie just sat there letting him get max heat. Well, he doesn't have the best counters on your options, right? Like, he doesn't have the digital uh, soldier low gunshot to stop, really, uh, Boy from heating up his hand. No, but he, he does have straight shot and he does have the shoulder shot. Whoa, getting right in there. Nice. Ooh, he's got him by that twice now. Nice, and we Ooh. see that change of tempo now yeah, from Boy. But the, what what does open up now, even if Boy Round wins two. this game, Fight. is it opens up that character select option now from Doogie. Oh yeah, and I, I think that if he loses this set, we will see a swap to the other variation of that. Either that or swapping to Scorpion, right? Because I think Scorpion does yeah. quite well against Jax as well. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Scorpion swap either. Ooh, nice. that is a high. No punish. But it, it is a high, but it has very low whip. Yeah, it's very thing. good. It was a thing where um you'd intentionally whip that and then go for a down one strike mix up afterwards because people would just be think it's plus. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Got a lot of moves that are plus on you. Damn, this is reminiscent of uh, me versus Castiel and Castiel's first of the tournament. And he didn't yeah. know Jax's energy blast was a high. <laughs> Reppin' the three one oh. Vic Victrix Castiel, rip in peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that four two, but I'm looking into the full option. Alright, now we see Boy possibly getting some rhythm. 
And you see that wave dash coming out. That crisp movement. Stagger, stagger. Buff frames off the forward four. Gets a counter hit. And now he has that crushing throw loaded. So he has he has a crushing blow where he's got max heat. He also has a crushing blow off his command grab. And he has a crushing blow off his overhead with max heat. So a lot of his crushing blows are linked to having heat. So you'll see, anytime you get any space full screen, he's committed to that. Nice. And looking at that low option in that clutch moment, normally, you know, every every jack player normally goes uh, forward two into the one plus three, which is the overhead. However, um, because it's safe, right? But in that moment, it is the true 50-50, really, because either option will kill. So you see mm. him whipping out the low there, taking that risk, risking it for the biscuit, and takes that game, meaning it is now two to one in the set. Mm. So we 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 were talking about how Boy was playing Gears the entire match, and we're like, oh, I'm not going to see a Jack. Cassie but Cage. this Jack swap seems to be working out great. And yeah. I honestly think that we're going to see Cassie's um, uh, ODT Googie swapping to the other variation of Cassie, which we just did. Yeah, Digital Soldier coming out now for Googie. I think it's a, a pretty obvious choice here from Googie uh, making that swap because Digital Soldier, for the most part, like in majority of the matchups within the game, I'd say is the better variation pick. Um, whereas mm. versus the hard zoners, that's where Yas Queen is a bit more of a more suitable yeah. approach just because of how quick uh, the shoulder is and how much distance it does cover. But now we're seeing Digital Soldier come out. That low gunshot is going to be a, a, a little bit of a thorn in Jax's side. It's just such an oppressive space control tool. And he can't, he, he just can't stand the screen charging up hate like he was doing last match. Yeah, and we're already seeing quick 50% yeah. off of Jack's life bar now. Yeah. This might be why he didn't look at Jax before. He just saw this coming. Oh, and reverses the side, so now she has all of the screen to play with again. Nice, good to duck under. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now he's found. Walker to the corner. Yeah, finally got it back to the corner. Can't eat too many more of those low gunshots though. Nice answer, yeah, from Googie. Full confirm. That was sick. That that first round. Yeah, and that was super, round super strong. Fight. Oh no, jump up for Oh no, and a massive waste of that defensive meat on that breakaway. Mm. I definitely don't agree with that one. Now he has to try and chase down Dookie, and even though he's getting damage off of that, uh, that throw of that Amplify back forward two, he's not getting the Oki that he needs. Here we go, finally he's got some Oki. What's the Oki situation? Just a stagger, nice. Contention from Gooby, just sitting there, willing to block it out. Mm. And as we were talking about before, the heat that Jax gets, that makes him so much more threatening. He gets so many crushing blows, and his damage just skyrockets. That's right. Talking about damage now. Nice, and yeah. Uses the breakaway. What's the stagger? Nice. What's the Oki situation? This is where zoning becomes very scary, yeah, because any trade go. means that boy ties it up now. One round apiece in the game four of this set. So, if Gugi wins Final this round, round, he will advance through Final. to Grand Finals, knocking out Boy. If Boy wins this round, he is still alive and will take it to a Game 5. Nice break there, I agree with that one. The wake up situation. We've seen a lot of jump forwards coming from Gugi on wake up, so I'd like to see a lot more meaties coming. From exactly, Boy. yeah. And Jax has the, Jax has the buttons to meet him. They're, they're all good. Oh, correctly reads the stagger there. So, in a lot of staggers, sometimes you can react to the gap, but sometimes your gap is just, it's just, it's very, very hard to react to. Nice, oh, it. That's going to take it. Geez. And advances through to Grand Finals, taking out Boy in a convincing 3-1 fashion, so you did get the right read, Josh. 3-1. Told you. I told you. I do like that boy with Daddy Jax. I think that was the right move from him. I feel like he was a bit too impatient in the matchup. Uh, he ate a lot of the low gunshots when you don't really have to. You can kind of just walk and close that space down um, in this matchup. Yeah. But, you know, it's one of those things. He was playing Garrus all day. He had one game to kind of adjust his play style to a Jax um, in the new matchup, which is versus Digital Soldier Cassie Cage. So 
kind of difficult to do right then and there, especially for an inexperienced tournament player. That boy is because, you know, he's played only really online. He's never made it to an offline meet. So yeah. uh, as a newer player, it is difficult to have that adaptation and that um, that presence of mind to quickly change between characters. But really, really strong showing for him. He's going to take out third place in today's tournament um, as we move ourselves into Grand Finals.